Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing, well, this recent state of affairs with regard to a foreign national here in Thailand, specifically down in Phuket, who basically, there are allegations of this person assaulting a Thai national. We've done a number of videos on this channel. Again, they remain allegations, and I would urge those who are interested in the underlying facts there or the alleged underlying facts to go check out that article and go check that out in the ether of the internet. There's all kinds of articles about that. That said, there is an immigration component to this, and that's why I thought of making the video. thought of making this video after reading a recent article from the Bangkok Post, bangkokpost.com. Article is titled, Phuket Officials Want Beach Bullies Visa Revoked. Quoting directly, Deputy Governor Sata Tongkam, currently serving as acting governor of the island province, that's Phuket, sent an urgent letter to, on Tuesday to the Phuket immigration chief asking him to consider revoking the visa. As we've discussed in other videos on this channel, the interior minister chimed in on this, talking about visa revocation associated with foreigners behaving badly, and just sort of generally. And now we're seeing the acting governor of Phuket themselves chiming in and stating that revocation of visa may be necessary under these circumstances. As discussed in a prior video, the determination to not extend a foreign national's given visa is a different thing from visa revocation. And as we discussed in that prior video, this person's visa does seem to be up for expiration and therefore application for extension quite soon. So whether or not they'll actually revoke the visa or just fail to extend it remains to be seen. Or if they do anything, if they maybe they'll extend it, who knows? That said, this case has gotten a great deal of media attention, and for that reason, it would appear that there are there are those who basically are wondering if there will be negative ramifications from an immigration standpoint. I don't think it's imprudent to presume that there could be. Again, these remain allegations, and until such time as we see finalized adjudication or some kind of plea in the matter, it remains to be seen whether or not, you know, these are actually true allegations. That said, if they are adjudicated to be true, it stands to reason that if somebody is convicted of assault, they probably, or at least one would presume, that they would be deported from the Kingdom of Thailand.